A deadly shooting in North Toledo marks the city's 66th homicide this year. Someone shot and killed Lauren Zell Taylor III at Central Avenue and LaGrange Street just last night. WTOL 11's Michael Sandlin joins us now live. And Michael, you talked with neighbors who say they've had enough of this. That's right, Mel. I spoke to multiple community members in the neighborhood, and they all echoed the idea that homicide is becoming an unfortunate fact of life on the streets of Toledo. While some say that all they can do is keep their heads down and wait for things to change, others I spoke to say the violence has gotten so far out of hand, it's time to pack up and leave. So I just heard this pop, 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 pop about 9 to 12 times, and it scared the crap out of me. So I said, well, let me get up out the way of these windows. And I said, boy, it's always something. This North Toledo neighborhood on the corner of Central and LaGrange has been left shaken after the shooting death of Lorenzel Taylor III. Taylor, a Woodward High School graduate and Chrysler employee, was only 21 when he was gunned down in his vehicle December 9th. Oh, Cynthia man. Burrell lives on LaGrange Street, only a block away from the shooting. And she says after all of the violence in the area, she's had enough. God has moved me out as we speak right now. I'm getting out of here because I didn't come this far to be sitting on my couch, you know, to get killed. Other area residents have been affected as well. Amy Reed is the owner of the Ohio Theater and the building Taylor crashed into next door. She says they planned on renovating the building and using it as a costume and rehearsal space, but now those plans will be put on hold while they deal with the damage. However, she emphasizes the building is far from her biggest concern. Buildings can be repaired, you know, but um, I think the tragedy of human life being lost was probably more impactful for me than the building itself. Well, Reed says that violence is an unfortunate reality of life in Toledo and will continue to work in the area, Jerry Henning, a senior at the Chester J. Zablocki Community Center just across the street from the shooting, remembers a time when the neighborhood wasn't a hotbed for crime. A lot of things have moved out of here through the years, the festival, a lot of businesses because of the violence and everything around the senior center in, in Polish Village area. Neighbors like Burrell say three or four years ago, often the loudest things she heard on the street were the cars at night. Now, she hears gunshots almost constantly. This is becoming an every other day thing, you know, and they're not thinking about their lives and no one else's, you know, so it hurts. Lauren Zell Taylor's family are offering a $50,000 reward to anyone with information that can help solve, solve his death. They ask if you know anything, call the Toledo Police Department. Reporting in studio tonight, I'm Michael Sandlin for WTOL 11.